Welcome to the Step 1 of You Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about pyruvate metabolism and the TCA cycle. Pyruvate dehydrogenase catalyzes the conversion of pyruvate into acetyl-CoA to enter the TCA cycle. An X-linked disorder may cause this enzyme to be deficient, causing pyruvate to build up, which ultimately gets converted into lactate and alanine. This can cause the combination of lactic acidosis and elevated serum alanine starting in infancy. This can further lead to neurological defects. The treatment for this is substituting carbohydrates for ketogenic nutrients. Foods high in fat content and amino acids lysine and leucine. Pyruvate has four different metabolic pathways. Muscles can be catabolized into alanine, which is carried to the liver to be turned into pyruvate by a B6-dependent alanine aminotransferase. Biotin-dependent pyruvate carboxylase can refill the oxaloacetate for the TCA cycle or turn into phosphoenolpyruvate for gluconeogenesis. Pyruvate dehydrogenase dependent upon B1, 2, 3, 5, and lipoic acid can turn into acetyl-CoA for entrance into the TCA cycle. And lastly, B3-dependent lactic acid dehydrogenase can be used to replenish NAD plus to keep glycolysis running in case of anaerobic conditions. Now, let's go over the TCA cycle. The TCA cycle is used to make reducing molecules NADH and FADH2 that can later be used in oxidative phosphorylation to create energy in the form of ATP. First, the 3-carbon pyruvate is made into a 2-carbon acetyl-CoA. This joins with the 4-carbon oxaloacetate at the end of the cycle to create the 6-carbon citrate by citrate synthase. Citrate is isomerized into cis-aconitate and then isocitrate. Next, the first decarboxylation happens and the first reducing species is created, CO2 and NADH, by the enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase. The 5-carbon alpha-ketoglutarate is the product, and it too is decarboxylated, and an NADH is produced, creating the 4-carbon succinyl-CoA by alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. Succinyl-CoA is transformed into the successive 4-carbon molecules. First, while releasing the CoA and a GTP, succinate is made. Then, releasing the FADH2, fumarate is made. Then malate and while giving off the final NADH, the oxaloacetate is made once again. Now let's go over the regulation of the TCA cycle. Since the function of the TCA cycle is to make NADH and ATP, both of these are common inhibitors. Both inhibit pyruvate dehydrogenase, ATP inhibits citrate synthase, both inhibit isocitrate dehydrogenase, and both also inhibit alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. Acetyl-CoA is the product of pyruvate dehydrogenase, and it too is an inhibitor. Succinyl-CoA is the product of alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, and it too inhibits it. And finally, one last thing to remember is that ADP activates isocitrate dehydrogenase. To remember the intermediates of the TCA cycle, citrate is Krebs' starting substrate for making oxaloacetate. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 of You. We'll see you in the next video.